today we are unbagging our sleigh glam bag. This is from January. Yeah. So, January. Finally. I know. And today I is know. the sixth and it's finally in. No, I, no, no, no. Today's the, does that say the seventh? The sixth. Oh, it's okay. Saturday the sixth. Sorry. Today. Um, I did not get home till almost 5 a.m. this morning. So, yeah, when I looked at my watch before I went to bed, it said the 6th, and I thought that that was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. No, so anyway. I'm up until, like, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning all the time. Like, I'm up when the time changes, yeah, so, so I'm used to that. Yeah. So. But we we did get the notification, the shipping notification, on the very last day of January 31st. Um, I do think, okay, I try not to see a lot of spoilers, so I try not to be on her page, like, too much, um, but sometimes she'll have a story up, like, an Instagram story, and I will see that. Um, sometimes there's spoilers, but, and I try to, like, skip through those very quickly, but sometimes she has, you know, like, a long message type thing, and I do tend to read those, um, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know if that was, like, the problem, um, with this month's shipping, but I'm pretty sure she's switching like warehouses or something. There's always something going on. Um, and I she's like learning, she's learning as she's going and it, it's hard to like fault her for it like is. late stuff. But at the same time, it's so like, it's sad that especially whenever, um, like we do the six month, but especially mm -hmm. when you're month to month, you're not getting so you're getting January, but you're already billed for February. So if you wanted to cancel after seeing what you got in January's, then you have to cancel after February and you're already going to get February's. You've already paid for February's. So it's frustrating in that sense. Like I could understand it's like, well, I didn't like January. So I didn't really like February. I didn't get it but until get in it. February, but I've already paid for February. So now I have to just, I don't know. My it's, heart is so torn because I absolutely love this bag. I yeah, there's love always this bag. like really great products. But it's always so late and like we can't try these products in the month, the the um, the sub box try on in the month in which they're all supposed to be here. Yeah. So anyway, but with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop into it. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're notified every time that we upload a new video. Um, a few of you have reached out to us and stated that for some reason, YouTube is not sending you notifications of our videos. So if you are seeing this, um, yeah, if you're seeing then this. Um, one of our subscribers said that literally she had to unsubscribe and then subscribe Resubscribe. again and then yeah. hit the notification bell so that she could hit the notification bell. So if any of you guys are in that situation, then definitely, if you want to see our content, go ahead and, you know, do all of that so that maybe YouTube will notify you when we have new videos. Because we do try to do at least two to three videos a week. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Yeah. All right. So it seems like usually it's always all packaged together and it doesn't seem like it is this time. Really? So. That's interesting. Go for this. Oh. Okay, Hikari. Um, it's an iridescent lip gloss in the shade Mystique. Ooh. So let's open this up. I'm a sucker for a good lip gloss. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. That's pretty. That's like a deep bronze. It's like duochrome it's, too, though. Yeah, like it has like a yeah. pinky, goldy. Goldy. Hmm. Super excited about that. Okay. Ooh. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. See what it looks like oh wow yeah that's really pretty and it definitely is like very shiny very, mm -hmm. like you can see the shift that's yep. actually really that's gorgeous that's so nice like I'm, it's bronzy but also has that pink undertone like that's pretty like, i'm really looking forward pretty. to trying that one yeah. out okay i feel something that feels like a squeezy tube so okay this is a lip oil, oil and it's by INT Cosmetics. It's a flamingo lip oil. I don't know exactly what it's that. weird that the sticker was right there. I know. Like it's too big to go on the very end, but it was like right here. Like covering the name. Yeah. That's that's um, interesting. 
Let's see if it says anything. I'll be trying, like I won't try this on the subject on the sub box try on, but I will be trying this because my lips, I think we've actually talked about it. Our lips right now are so, so dry. Yeah. Like, and so literally. like we're doing whatever we can to try to, you know, get some moisture on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try before the sub box try on so that I can kind of tell you guys what I think about yeah. it. Alright, so there's like a the well let's try to okay here it is so that's what like, she got out i was like something's missing yeah, on there um so this is what it was supposed to be it's an int mascara um it's from the same brand as the lip yes. oil it's in dark dark java java um so i guess that's i hope that's brown i mean black black but it kind of all although a brown like a, mascara a brown, would be would yeah be pretty it kind of almost does i don't know if you guys can see it or not it almost does look uh, yeah no that is brown a little like yeah okay that is brown. that's kind of actually fun and just yeah i don't know how well you can actually see the color um but it's definitely brown the wand looks pretty interesting too it's nice yeah. and fluffy I wonder if it says... It looks like a similar one that I've tried, but I can't think of the mascara. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't even know if it was a good mascara, but it looks familiar. Okay, so it does come in on the back. It comes in pitch black or dark java. So it comes in a black and it comes in a brown. Um, but it doesn't really say anything about whether it's lengthening, whether it's volumizing, yeah. whether it's, you know, what it kind of does for your lashes. So... You might have to I will try it out look into I like, will. the actual website, the actual brand, and yeah. see what it says on there. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So, I feel a palette. She's always got a palette in there. Yeah, there is one more thing after the palette. This palette looks, or feels, feels really, really big. Oh my gosh, that is gigantic. Look That's how like big one of those, this is. Like, big Morphe palettes. Ooh. <gasps> Secret of Beauty. Like that almost puts me in the mind of um, like a Disney princess yeah, on there. That's and the so castle. Cute. That is stunning. I love it. Okay, so it is Secret of Beauty by Steb. Um, Rose. It's got 35 color um, eyeshadows. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of jealous. Okay. I haven't even seen the inside. I know. <gasps> Okay, you guys. Wow. I'm going to have a lot. so much fun playing with this, but I'm not sure, not sure where I can fit this palette <laughs> in my collection. Yeah, that's just true. Big. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited about it, and oh my gosh, there are like, there's so many colors. There's like the magenta, there's blues, <clears throat> like into kind of a deep green, um, pink. Yeah. Golds, neutrals. Um, it looks like there's actually a few cool tone shades. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Okay, I am gonna swatch at least. It looks pretty much like matte and shimmer. Mm -hmm. I don't see any like sequin or really high glitter or anything like that. So I am gonna at least swatch two, and I'm gonna try to make them bold. So I think I'm gonna do. Like that matte. Yeah, they kind of calling my name. Kind a of bit. a coral yeah. there. So I will dip into that. And then this like cobalt blue shimmer is calling my name for some mm -hmm. reason. I was definitely eyeing that one. Okay. So I have the one that kind of looks coral. Uh, 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 no. I'm um, not in love with that. It's yeah. really powdery. And it might not, blend out on the eye better though. It might because I have we have run into that. Yeah. So um mm, I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, that swatch okay. is not not and then good. The cobalt blue. That's that's good. That's, that's good. good. That's a lot yeah. better. So um I will definitely be playing in this on our sub box on at the end of February. Yeah. Not knowing what all I'm going to be getting in. Ipsy, Ipsy X. I'm so excited for Ipsy X, guys. Y'all stay tuned for that because so. it shipped out yesterday. Uh-huh. So 
it's coming. I'm so excited for so, it. So, but you know, I have run into these palettes before where swatch is kind of really yeah. sparse and powdery, but it blends really well on my eyes and it does turn out really pretty. So yeah, we'll see. All right. Last product in here is a Hakari eyeliner and it's in the shade Yacht. Looks like kind of kind a of, nude, mm -hmm. like neutrally shade. Maybe good to kind of brighten up the waterline. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's actually metallic. Huh. It looks, yeah, it looks metallic, right? It kind of does. It's so hard to see in our bright lights right now. <laughs> um, so if if I've been like kind of squinty eyed, that's a little, that's kind of why. Um, do you want me to swatch yeah, this? Yeah, go okay. ahead. I didn't know if maybe you wouldn't use it. Sometimes with eyeliners, you just never know. Okay, it is a metallic. So that's you kind Very of have to press a bit harder to get much payoff. Um, so that's yeah. kind of annoying with an eyeliner because you don't want to be like really pressing on your eye, especially your waterline. Like that's mm -hmm. so sensitive. I like when it just like glides on. Um, that didn't really glide. I had to really kind of press. Maybe you have to kind of get it warmed up a bit. Maybe. Um, but Again, not a huge we'll fan test of that. It out. Yeah. Yeah, so. your eye area is so um, so fragile, yes. and you don't want early wrinkles and yeah. stuff like that. So anyway, um, I liked, I this, liked, yeah. I liked it too. I definitely think it could have been better. Like it could have been better. Like a lip oil is a kind of meh. It's like not a bad product, but it's not like a great spectacular product. An eyeliner, um, for us is kind of meh. I mean, for other people. You know, you might enjoy an eyeliner, yeah. but the lip gloss, the mascara, the palette, like those are all really, 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 really nice. good. So, I mean, yeah. I thought it was good. I know. So, if you guys have made it this far in the video, we love you so much. Um, we're going to have you comment a word and then everybody else is not going to know what in the world's going on. This shade of this lip oil is Flamingo. So, comment down below, Flamingo. And we'll have this like little secret sister thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that is actually going to be it for this video. Um, let us know your thoughts on the box below. Uh, we'll have two other videos linked right over there that you can go check out. The subscribe button is right down there. So until our next video, bye. bye.